You know where I like to go when I'm really feeling fat? <laughs> Weight Watchers. Not for the diet. I just like to be around people that are twice my size. It's the only time I really get to feel thin. And for once, I could sit there and judge them. My, 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 look how these people let themselves go. What a shame. Some people say that I have a, a weight problem. I don't think I have a weight problem. I can't wait to eat. And if ever I, I gain a couple of pounds, I, I have a special acceleration approach that I go on. Basically, I go on three diets at the same time. I go on the Atkins diet so I could eat high fats. The runner's diet so I could load up on my carbs. And the slim fast diet so I could wash it all down. <laughs> well, let me introduce myself. My name is Howard Gorman. I'm Jewish. I was raised in Queens. Uh, I used to play the accordion. <laughs> I'm very depressed and I see a therapist. <laughs> Some of my hobbies include whining, moaning, <laughs> groaning, complaining, <laughs> self-pity and watching TV. During the day, I'm a, uh, I'm a salesman. I sell medical equipment. I sell colonoscopes. <laughs> Anyone here ever, ever have a colonoscopy? <laughs> I thought you looked familiar. <laughs> Did you ever get that little blemish fix? <laughs> you know, it's amazing about perspectives. Most people spend their lives trying to avoid assholes. <laughs> My life depends upon them. <laughs> well, I'm going through a little bit of a midlife crisis, so I, I decided to sign up for this uh, comedy class. <laughs> well, actually, that's not true. My first choice was interpretation dance, but that was full. <laughs> I was brought up in a, a very loving, nurturing home, and uh, my father had pet names for all of us. Mine was Schmuck. When I was 26, he finally told me what that meant. He said it was a Jewish word meaning, you're my favorite son. I love my dad. <sighs> Well, it was a tough childhood, but I survived, and uh, I have a wife and two great kids. Uh, I love my family. They mean everything to me. They're my heart, they're my soul, they're my reason for living. I just don't want to be around them. <laughs> it was very tense when the kids were, were growing up. It was very tense for me. Uh, all that spitting and fighting and tepid tantrums. My wife told me I should find a new way of expressing my anxiety. <laughs> and a lot of times after like a hard day's work as I was driving home, I, I, I hated the stress at my house. So what I would do is I would flip through all the radio stations looking for all the traffic reports. <laughs> and wherever they had the most traffic, that's where I would drive to. I once drove as far as Pennsylvania. There was a 10-car collision. It took me an hour to find that place. Oh, boy. I'd like to have an affair, but I can't. Not for moral reasons. My wife has this 
built-in radar system. If I even think of another woman, the alarms go off. I once went online posing as a doctor. My screen name was MD Hedden MD. And when you looked into the, the, the profile, it was Michael Donaldson Neurosurgeon. I owned a, a, an apartment in Manhattan, a villa in France. I was a pilot. I owned a yacht, and I was into extreme skiing. I went into the Jewish singles chat room, and I was like a magnet. All these women loved me. They were coming after me. I couldn't believe it. This one girl invited me into a private chat room. The conversation got very heated. And just at that critical moment, my wife's alarms went off. She came downstairs, and she wanted to know why I was beat red and sweating. Well, she bought the line about the high blood pressure. But I couldn't explain the smoking jacket, the ascot, the bottle of wine, and the candles. Thank you very much. Thank you.